it's been a while since I've filmed last. Um, I was kind of busy for New Year's Eve at Christmas, so I didn't have much time to film. Also, skip last week's upload because I didn't have enough content to put everything in one block. So I'm just gonna do a vintage haul since I got a few good pieces last year at a vintage store, a local vintage store called Miji. So it doesn't have Miji with none, it's like in Cantonese or Chinese. So um, you just have to Google it. Google uh, helps if you just have Miji and then you just go to Shiali. I'm just gonna put a picture here for you guys to know approximately where it is. And as for my vintage pieces, I got quite a good amount, uh, about five pieces. And for a very affordable price compared to European vintage, um, because they really cater on making it affordable and cheap, even though they have big brands. Uh, I got a, even a Dior shirt for about like very affordable, so I'm gonna show you. So here I have my first piece that I required. Uh, it was not um, at the same time as the others because with the first time I went there, oh, there are also two branches of Meiji, one in Central and one in uh, Mongkok. The Mongkok one is smaller and doesn't have as much for guys, but the Central one is, uh, is much bigger and has like a whole floor almost for guys uh, in terms of pieces and selections. So I would recommend going to Central if you're uh, a man because you do have more options. So, the first one I got from the central Amiji is this one. I actually didn't know the brand the first time I saw it, but I really like the material and the look of it. Like, it has a very chill um, cut on it, it's like a good jacket. It's Long Vin Sport. This jacket really caught my eye because it was quite nice, a really good cut, very nice loose fit. So, let me show you an outfit. I think it can be worn uh, very casually. Um, even just with like a pair of jeans, uh, either black jeans uh, as I'm having now or just a bit formal works too, uh, which I've tried. So it's just a good everyday jacket. I know it stands out a bit of the color but um, I think it works for well. Another style I've been, or another outfit match I've been trying is an old jeans one. So it just kind of matches the cut of my jeans and it works quite well. Uh, which is why I think this outfit is not too bad either if you have a uh, different colored type of shirt underneath. So it both works. Uh, I've been wearing it quite a lot since I bought it, so it was quite worth it. Next piece I got is another jacket, a sporty one. I really like this one. Uh, this was on my second time in the store I got it. We were actually, I was with a friend and he um, was really good at finding the good stuff, so he actually found it for me. And I really liked it because it has a really good color combination with the brown and the black. It's also Nike Golf, which I haven't come across, so I really like that. It's something new for me. The sizing is L, but I really like it. It's, I think, a bit more of an older piece, and a super nice fit. And the cool thing is also I can take off the arms if I want to, so it can be turned into like a shirt. Um, like if it's a harder days for spring or autumn, I can just go with like short sleeves. Super versatile. This one I've been wearing even more than the previous one because it's just, it goes with every outfit almost. It just has a really good fit, the color combination works, and uh, I've just been loving this one so far. The only thing about it, it doesn't have any pocket inside. As for the styling, I think it works with anything almost. I usually wear it whenever I go out for just like a casual meeting or to any sports events or like for either dancing, gymming. Um, just going out on a run um, or just going out for a walk. It works with almost every outfit, super versatile. It has a nice uh, cut on me and it just flows super well. I usually pair it also with like looser clothing um, since it gets more like a street style wear. Uh, I don't like it um, zip, fully, fully zipped up, so I just keep it always like neck down. I think it's just very good uh, casual jacket for every day. Moving on to the next one. Since we're still with jackets, <laughs> I got another jacket. Um, I really like jackets because they are they're just versatile. I can just put the one on whenever I want uh, and complete the look. It just works. Um, this one I found a lot with because it's like a nice black jean one from Levi's. And it really stood out to me already with the brand. So I really like the I really like the design. It's like a very nice black jean jacket. The only thing that bothers me is like they cut off the wet Levi tag on the pocket here. I think it's to avoid so people can immediately see that Levi. It's like still a bit red underneath, so you can see that it was just cut off the tag. 
but I don't mind it as much because still um, I really like this. It has a super nice fit on me. It's S. It's one. It one's on the smaller size, but um, just gives a nice fitted look. So I think whenever I want to go out for a more chic event, I think I can wear this. Or I feel like or I feel like um, dressing up. So for styling, I just prefer to go with tight jeans because I don't think this jacket works with like loose clothing. It just doesn't balance or, or make the look proportionate. So I usually go for tight jeans, um, all black as well because I like the aesthetic of it. I like to pair the black clothing with some jewelry, chain, earcuffs, rings, anything. And it just gives a super nice fitted look. So that's it for this one. And now we're done with the jackets. <laughs> as for the fourth piece, I'm actually wearing it. It's an Armani shirt. Um, the Armani has like, it's made of merino wool, which makes it super comfortable and also you have to wash it last because I saw on the internet it's antibacterial and I've been in love with it because it's just so comfortable, I've been wearing it a lot and it's just a nice casual wear. I think you can always make it a bit more chic depending on your outfit as well, so I'm just going to show you a few ways of how to style it. So one way could be just again with the tighter jeans to make it more put together and you Otherwise, you can also go with like uh, more of a with the white leg jeans uh, as of here. Moving on to the last piece, the best one out of all. So basically, I got a Dior shirt. Uh, one tip: if you want to look for the good brands in Meiji, look out for the plastic um, coverings on the handles. Uh, they usually cover the clothing with like a plastic uh, sheet a bit. So they themselves know that it's more like a famous brand. Because this one and the Amani one both came with like a plastic cover on it. So if you want to go to Meiji and find the good like the better brands, but so you have to dig for like Levi's and Nike I had to uh, we had to dig a lot. I really like this uh, Dior shirt because it's a nice shirt which I can like think uh, stack casually. So with the looks I can just casually leave the leave the buttons open with the wide leg jeans as here. And it's just like a good addition to uh, my closet as well because it's super versatile. I can also make it more chic again by closing up the buttons and wearing like maybe a tank top underneath and some jewelry and like a tighter jeans. Make it all a bit more put together. Otherwise I can also just go for the full closed up button look and have it as like an office shirt which works too. That's it for the haul. I got quite a few good pieces which I've been wearing quite a lot now, especially like the jacket. Wherever I go, it's just a good addition to have. Yeah, Hong Kong is honestly a great location for the thing. I have seen like quite a few stores which offer a variety of like clothing for very cheap and they're all spread around. Especially Kowloon has a bit more like a uh, Mong Kok area, but Miji is more of the famous ones because a lot of people go there and they are very strict with the prices. They don't go lower uh, and they have very affordable ones especially uh, for like good brands as well so it also depends on your luck whenever you go there try to take your time to go through a few different racks and so especially for women they have a lot more higher brands like Chanel, YSL, Burberry and they are like just spread throughout the whole ground floor again they're covered with some plastic on top so you can easily like distinguish them but yeah that's it for this section